I like mimosas. I do. They gotta have a lot of champagne in them. Sometimes they be trying to jip you. They be trying to jip you and they be giving you like three parts orange juice, one part champ. I'm like, no. I'm like, ma'am, you could just, you could, you could do, you should add some more. Give me what I want, give me what I want, yeah. Give me what I want, give me, give me what I want. Give me what I want, give me what I want, what I need. This is Kevin's Cravings where I constantly crave luscious, decadent, sensual, sexy comfort foods. Thank you for tuning in. If it's your first time here and you enjoy the vibe, be sure to subscribe. So today guys, I went back to the Smith restaurant for brunch. It's been a while. With brunch, you always want a mimosa. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been to the Smith. The last time I went, I got there, I think it was called the Benedict Johnny, where it's like the cornbread, and then the sausage, and then the eggs, the eggs Benedict. It was really good. I'm a sucker for eggs Benedict. So today, I went back, got a mimosa, and I got their classic eggs Benedict with black forest ham, hollandaise, side of home fries. That rich, it's something about some rich hollandaise sauce. You know, it just gets me, and then the runny yolks of the eggs. I also got their pancakes, which comes with toasted pecans, whipped ricotta, and a salted caramel sauce. I mean, I am so excited to get up into this brunch. Let's get up into the eggs, Benedict. The yolks, running all over the place. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Get that bite. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Y'all, that eggs Benedict. That was some of the best hollandaise sauce I've ever had. It was just so silky and rich and thick, yet smooth. It was it was just so well done. And I, I appreciate a good hollandaise because hollandaise, I've, I've made it many times. It's easy to mess up and break apart. That was so sexy and silky. Mm. Mm. The black forest ham, nicely grilled. You get that grill taste on top of the toasted English muffin, the poached egg, nicely, perfectly poached. You cut into it, the yolks escape and they run all over the place. Mm. So well done. Let's get up into the pancakes. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. I'm gonna add some more salted caramel because I'm just, I'm about that life. I'm about that lifestyle. Wow. Look at that. So much drippage. Get a little bit of everything. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Those pancakes, it's like, it's like eating a stack of velvet, like a stack of silk, like a stack of velvet silk. You, you bite into it, it's like, it's like your, 
it's like your teeth are biting into a, a cotton pillow. Yeah, so the pancakes themselves are like silk velvet. And then you're biting into it and, and you're biting into a, 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 a cotton pillow. And then um, you're chewing them and they're just so light. And you know with pancakes, you usually get the sweetness from the syrup. You get the sweetness from that salted caramel. It's so rich, it's so decadent. It goes so well with the toasted pecans. The whipped ricotta is just light and airy and it adds that creamy texture. And it just, everything, every, everything has a part and everyone plays their part so well. Yeah, Smith, thank you. Thank you. And the mo the mimosa, <laughs> and the mimosa is totally playing its part as well. The Smith is always good. I can always count on them to, to make good food. If you're in New York City, you gotta try the Smith. I've been there before. I'm gonna finish my mimosa and my brunch. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Be sure to talk to me in the comments, leave me a comment. Give this video a thumb up, a little like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and I will see y'all next time.